The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. Two days ago, the women's college hockey scene got shaken up a bit when the UND women's hockey team was cut, along with two other athletic programs at the university. Emotions ran high. One women's hockey player was even seen around campus in her jersey wearing a sign saying, I need a hug. Former players and fans alike voiced their displeasure, but we never heard from the team until today. It's hard to put into words how we're all feeling. I think there's quite a bit of grief and anger and a lot of sadness. But uh, I think it's important that we're all sticking together at this time through all the hardships. And I know I just think that with everything that's gone down, it's very hard to put into words how we're all feeling. How do you take hockey from a hockey school? Like, you don't. And that, that, that is us. Like, that is our opinion. But I think our community has our back. And I think Brian Faison and President Kennedy are wrong to do that. And, um, like, leaving a legacy. I think we did leave a legacy. Like, People know that this is wrong and like, we'll make our legacy somewhere else, so yeah. I'd like to think, uh, you know, we built something pretty special that uh, uh, really, uh, you know, was fun to be around and a lot of people wanted to be around and, uh, you know, be a part of and um, yeah, but uh, time will tell what that legacy is. Honestly, I uh, feel more compassion for uh, some of the players before and some of the players I coached in the early years who have built it to this and uh, you know to it, it was exciting for them to say hey I was a part of that and for them not to, to have that to, for them to say I played at a program that no longer exists mm, painful the school has said it will honor scholarships but many players have already been contacted about transferring schools if you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.